how much abuse an ATV tire has to take. Lots. But every once in a while, even the toughest tire gets a flat. And it's your job to fix it. And if you've repaired an ATV tire in the past, you know what a job that can be. So, Honda came up with a better system. We're sure you're going to like it. For 1983, a one-piece wheel replaces the previous split rim used on most ATCs. And it's possible to fix most punctures while the tire is on the wheel. To do your job properly, you're going to need to know new techniques and procedures, plus how to use new tools. That's what this program is all about. It will teach you how to use the universal bead breaker and the ATV tubeless tire repair kit to fix holes in ATV tires. You'll learn how to use the bead breaker to break the tire bead and how to repair holes in tires, both on and off the rim. Plus, you'll learn how to remount the tire. And to make sure that we get our facts straight, we've called up Professor Wilfred von Pflugit, the world-famous expert on fixing holes. The professor will be giving you a few tips based on his years of experience as the world's foremost hole-fixing expert. That's right. You know, I became expert only after constant self-denial, lots of study, and of course, patching many holes. Yeah, I have fixed them all. Holes in floors, holes in doors, holes in cheese, even donut holes. In fact, that's how the prune Danish was invented. I was trying to fix the donut hole and get rid of a few prunes. Ah, ugly things. But the holes that I am the most famous for fixing is the tire holes. <laughs> Especially holes in ATV tires. And can I fix them? In fact, during my expanded research at Plugenheim Polytechnic, I was experimenting with fixing flats on the tubeless tires without removing the tire from the rim. You will see this technique later, but first... Let's look at the wheel on tire. Then we will discuss our universal bead breaker tool and how to use it. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, I will let the narrator gentleman do most of the talking. Thank you, Professor. The first thing you'll notice is that the wheel doesn't bolt together like the old one. It's one piece. And like last year, it uses a tubeless tire. Before you can remove the tire from the rim, you'll have to break the bead. To make tire removal easier, Honda has developed the Universal Bead Breaker Tool. It has its own case and consists of a breaker arm assembly, breaker press assembly, adapters for 7, 8, 9, and 11 inch rims, threaded shaft, lever nut, press head bolt, short blade for 7 and 8 inch rims, long blade for 9 and 11 inch rims, and a hex wrench. You may notice that some of the adapters have the letter M stamped on them. These marks is for the manufacturing and not for your using. Here's how the bead breaker is used. First, remove the core from the valve stem. Install the correct blade onto the breaker arm assembly. ATC rims vary in size from 7 to 11 inches. Rim sizes are marked on each adapter and blade, so choose the correct one. This is important. The wrong blade could damage the rim, tire, and tool. For our demonstration, we'll be using a 9-inch wheel from an ATC 200E. Place the 9-inch adapter onto the threaded shaft. Then, put the wheel over the shaft and adapter. Lube the bead area with Tecmautomatic bead lubricant or equivalent. Don't use soap or oil. It could leave a residue that will make the tire bead hard to seat when remounting the tire. Press down on the sidewall so that the lubricant penetrates the bead area and be sure to lube where the breaker arm contacts the sidewall. Hold the breaker arm assembly at 45 degrees and insert the blade between the tire and rim. Push it in and down until it's horizontal. The press block should contact the rim. You may have to tip the breaker arm with a mallet to install it the last three millimeters. Don't hit it hard, you'll ruin the tool. Next, place the breaker press head over the breaker arm press block. Keep the breaker arm horizontal. Then back the press head bolt out and position the nylon buttons on the press head against the inside rim edge. If you are working on a seven inch wheel, the nylon buttons is positioned on the top edge of the rim. 
insert the threaded shaft through the appropriate hole in the press head assembly and tighten the lever nut until both ends of the press head contact the rim. The holes on the press head assembly are sized. We're using the 9 inch hole. If you're working on aluminum wheels that have four mounting tabs, insert two bolts through the mounting tabs to keep the adapter and the wheel in alignment before tightening the lever nut. Now, tighten the press head bolt until the reference mark on the block lines up with the top edge of the press head. But don't go past it, you'll damage the tire. The bead should break at this point. Use your hand to press the rest of the bead into the center of the rim. Sometimes the bead will stick and can't be broken by hand. If this happens, loosen the press head bolt and the lever nut. Rotate the breaker arm and press head assemblies one quarter turn around the rim and retighten the lever nut and press head bolt. Repeat this procedure until the rest of the bead breaks loose. The other side is done in the same way. That's right. Generously lube the bead area and install the breaker onto the rim, holding it at 45 degrees. Press down and in until the arm is horizontal. Don't forget that the last three millimeters may be tough. If this is so, tap the arm with a mallet. Now, install the press head assembly and align the nylon buttons on the press head with the inside edge of the rim. Don't forget, on seven inch wheels, the buttons line up with the top edge of the rim. Next, tighten the press head bolt until the reference mark is correctly lined up and press around the bead area by hand. And if the bead still won't break, move the tool around the rim one quarter turn and try again. Once the bead is broken, remove the breaker tool, install the tire on a Coates 200 or 220 tire machine, and remove the tire from the wheel. Service tool newsletter number 14 tells how you can modify the Coates 200 for ATV wheels. The procedure here is one that you should already know. Just remember to do only one side of the tire at a time and be sure to use the rim protectors. If you don't have a tire machine, remove the tire by using tire levers and rim protectors. You can very easily make your own protectors. It's easier to remove the tire if you work from the back side of the wheel, the side opposite the valve stem. And remember to use tire bead lubricant makes tire removal easier and reduces the chance of damage. Well, you've seen how to use the bead breaker and gotten tips on unmounting the tire. Now, let's listen to the professor. Thank you. There are two ways to repair the tubeless ATV tires. One is to plug the hole with the tire on the wheel, and the other is to repair the hole with the tire off the wheel. Thanks, professor. First, we'll look at on-the-wheel repairs of ATV tubeless tires using the Tech ATV Tubeless Tire Repair Kit. The kit consists of inserts, patches, insert tool, probe, stitcher, and vulcanizing fluid or cement. On-the-wheel repairs are made by plugging the hole with the tire inserts, but it's important to remember that these repairs are limited to holes no larger than one-half inch in diameter. This is the maximum size hole that can be repaired using two inserts. If the repair doesn't seal with the addition of a second insert, it's a good indication that more serious tire damage is present. In this case, remove the tire from the wheel and repair the hole from the inside using a patch. And remember this important fact. These repair methods are recommended for the ATV tubeless tires only. Don't try to fix a motorcycle tire using these methods. Good point, Professor. Here's how it's done. <laughs> 